Laura Newport Public Library. Welcome to another episode of Kids in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make crunchy cranberry muffin tops. This recipe comes from the cookbook Little Cooks. You can check this library book out at the Warren Newport Public Library. Before we get started, let's remember to wash our hands, clean our work surfaces, and pull your hair back in a tie if you have long hair. All right, let's get started. Some of the ingredients in our muffin tops are honey, flour, cranberries, orange zest, salt, baking soda, baking powder, four tablespoons of melted butter, milk, two thirds of a cup, cornmeal, two eggs, and this is water. Um, I use dried buttermilk powder, so I just add the water to it. Okay, so let's first of all mix up our dry ingredients, which will be two cups of flour, a cup and a half of cornmeal, salt, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, Two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, so we're going to give that a good stir. Oh, I'd say about 20 stirs maybe to make sure it's really blended well. so you can see what I'm doing better. Okay, we have our dry ingredients blended or mixed. So now we're going to set it on the side. Now we're going to whisk together our wet ingredients, which is four tablespoons of melted butter, which I have melted already. So if you need to do yours, stop the recording and go melt it. And two thirds of a cup of milk. And two thirds of a cup of water, because remember I use dry buttermilk. And two eggs. shell in. I don't want that. And two. If you get eggshell in, you're baked good. Just use the egg, the, the empty egg. Just use the empty eggshell to get it out. It comes out really easy. Okay. And our honey. This is a quarter cup of honey. Okay, now we're going to whisk this together. Remember this tool, the whisk? It's one of my favorites. in. This might be a good time to preheat your oven and to put parchment paper on your baking sheets or a liner, whatever you have. add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. Alrighty. Here we go. 
Now I know the recipe says to add the wet to the dry, but since my wet bowl was bigger, I decided to do it dry to wet. Okay, I'm going to stir it. Still have to put in our cup of cranberries and our teaspoon of grated orange peel. All right, so I'm going to dump in my cup of cranberries, and this is a, a zester, and I'm just going to kind of Yes, I only want the orange. I don't want the white part of it. See them in there? See the zest? It's going to smell so good in the oven. most of an orange to get a teaspoon. And if I have a little more, that's okay too. That'll just be orangey tasting. Stir that in. Oh, it smells so good. All right. Now I know you can buy muffin top tins that have a, they're about so big and about really shallow, but this recipe just puts them right on the baking sheet. So that's what we're going to do. You're going to bake these for about 15 minutes. And I think I'm going to do six. You could do two baking sheets at once if you wanted to. Since I don't know how much they're going to spread, I don't want to get them too crowded. I could use a little more. So once we have them baked, we're going to let them sit on the baking sheet for a few minutes before we take them off. Um, say about four minutes, and then we're going to serve them with honey. So I'm going to go put them in the oven, and I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay, I've cooled them on the baking sheet for four minutes. So let's take them off. They're like a big cookie. They're brown on the bottom. And you're going to want to eat them with some honey. So we'll drizzle some honey. You could also cut them open. Look at that inside. Drizzle a little honey on them. And you're 
you're ready for your tree. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoy your crunchy cranberry muffin tops. They look so good. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.